Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is January the 1st, so Happy New Year's. I hope everyone had a safe night last night. We did what we always do on New Year's. We stayed home and drank chocolate milk. <laughs> and uh, we technically, we watched the ball drop in Eastern Time. We're in Central Time. So it was 11 o'clock our time. But Jesse didn't know the difference. So we said Happy New Year, we toasted, and we went to bed. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty funny. June is down here. She's trying to get on the camera. You want to see? The living room's dirty. Say hello. Anyways, whoops. So I wanted to come on here real quick and um, talk about New Year's. Devin and Jesse are over at Devin's dad's, so I don't know how long they're going to be gone. I decided just filming their living room. It's messy. It's not um, fancy. Whatever. No one cares. <laughs> so last year, I kept track of all my projects in this notebook that's half it was practically used anyways when I first got it <laughs> when I started using it so I did do a decent job keeping track of all my projects from January to December what you want to play with that you can take it and play with it but so I tallied them up this morning here I'll set it over here and you can play with it and to totally that I remembered to track there may be a few in here that I maybe forgot to write down but the amount that I wrote down was 148 finished objects. And then I kind of summarized them by types. <laughs> and um, sweaters and tops, including a baby sweater, I made four. I made one blanket last year, which is really weird. Because I normally make a lot of blankets. So I don't know if... Yeah, I'm pretty sure my Ripple scrap blanket I made in January last year. When I was still pregnant. was the last one I made. Okay, okay. Don't turn it up. <laughs> I made one wall hanging. I made seven scarves. Nope, seven squares. Two scarves. I made 18 hats and headbands. It's like air warmers is what I put in that category. And then I made 47 miscellaneous things. Yeah. This was like appliques, um, tissue holders, things like that that don't really, like I didn't want to have a million categories. So that's just all kinds of random stuff. Bookmarks, things like that. Uh, and then I made 68 amigurumis. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I used a total of 44 ball bands. I did show those in a Vlogmas video. I just don't remember when. And I already threw them away. But I counted them and I used 44 ball bands. So that's pretty good, I think, for me. Because I normally don't track anything. Who knows what I've done in pre previous years. <laughs> but I do plan on tracking um, my projects again this year. 2023. In this book that I was gifted last year. And it's got... Uh, pages on here that you track all the information you can put pictures and write notes and stuff of your projects so i'm going to try to do that in this book this year you turn that up that's all right so and the last few years i have made a good luck charm for uh to take into new year's with us so yesterday i sat down and made one uh let's see here 2020 going into 21 i made a four leaf clover which is hanging up here if i can think about it i'll insert a picture and then in 2021, going into 22, I made a ladybug, which is hanging in my kitchen. And also, I'll insert a picture of that as well. And then this year, I was looking around for good luck charms and stuff. And the one that I settled on was a red envelope. <laughs> and I think it's in the Chinese culture that they gift um, red envelopes in their New Year, the Chinese New Year, for good luck. It usually has money in it. Um, so, I just sat down and made a little red envelope. I didn't use a pattern. I just chained uh, 15, and then I worked three, 12, three, 12 <laughs> to make it round. And then I just worked up until I thought it was a good envelope size. And then the, I made the flap. I'm going to twist this because I just made a twisty thing. I made the flap just by decreasing, you know. And then I did put a dollar in there to leave in there so that we're never always, or we're never completely broke <laughs> is the uh, saying for that. And then I did make a little loop just to hang it with because I like to hang them to look at them. And then I just sewed a little button on there to uh, wrap this tail around to keep it closed. I didn't want to do anything too fancy. <laughs> I just made it real quick. I think I used a H hook while I was doing it. But there's my good luck charm for 2023. And I put the money in there because one of our a lot of our goals this year are centered kind of around money, saving for things and stuff. So um, the money's in there for the good luck for the money. But uh, that's what I made this year. <laughs> So, I'm going to keep doing that, I think, forever. <laughs> as long as I can remember to do it. But, uh, like I said, there's no pattern to this. But I did look on Ravelry afterwards. And there are some other envelopes on there. So, if you want to make an envelope as well, just check out uh, patterns. Or make your own like I did. But, yeah. So, 
Um, I had a few goals last year. One of them was to work for my stash, which I did. I only bought two balls of yarn all year, and I used those two that I that I bought. Um, she's right there. I uh, I wanted to enter in the fair. I did a few items. I can't remember what my other things were. They're not important now. They were last year's goals. But this year, I did scribble down some goals. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, again, I want to do kind of like a yarn band type thing. But I, I will be buying yarn this year because I used up so much last year that I'm going to need some solid colors. And I'll buy as I need. I do want to enter the fair again. That's on there. And I also want to only work on things that I enjoy. If I'm not enjoying it, I'm going to frog it. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. And then, uh, one of my new goals this year... What you want this? Is I want to make three little Halloween themed amigurumis every month from January to through October. So I'll end up with 30 of them for my trick or treaters here in my community. Last year I put out crochet ghosts and candy and all the ghosts went. So this year I thought it'd be cool to make 30 different little or like, you know, a couple ghosts, a couple witches, you know, whatever. But I want to work on three of those a month because that, that way it's not over overwhelming <laughs> and uh i get it done pretty easily and then uh, on the other side of this i got also some health related goals or like personal goals i guess and then money goals we always make money goals and stuff every year but um those are important for you guys to hear right now i guess i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna try to keep it simple one of my personal goals this year is to focus more or work more on Making our home huga. I think it's huga. That's how you say it. Uh, so that it's more comfortable for us and less stressful. So I've been, I started last year, so I'm cleaning out, just getting rid of clutter that is just stuff that's been sitting around forever. There's still a lot to go. And um, not by bringing so much stuff into the house. Keeping things that only, that we use and we enjoy, you know. And, uh. I'm trying to just de-stress a little bit. You know, I have I have so much on my plate that I'm, it gets overwhelming sometimes. And, like, I want to spend less time on my phone, like, watching TikTok and stuff like that. And more time doing stuff in the house and all that. That's some of my goals this year for, like, personal stuff. So, I just want to work on that. I want, like, a calmer life. <laughs> I, it's a little bit hard when I have a baby. Because <laughs> she makes things crazy all the time, almost. But, um... You know, that's, I want everything else to be easier. You know, de-stress the parts of my life that I can. But yeah, so that is my New Year's. I finished a few more items before the end of the year to share with you. The envelope is one of them. I did this yesterday. I made an amigurumi, but I will show that to you tomorrow in a national holiday video. And it's actually, it's going to be a gift to my brother. His birthday is on the 5th. And, uh, let me open my notes here. What else did I finish? There's only like four more pages left in this uh, notebook. So I'll use that, put those pages for something else. And then I'll start over. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I showed you the birthday outfit and the seahorse. So, the red envelope and then the amigurumi I made my brother. I didn't use a pattern for it either, but I'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. Um, it's all that I made in 2022. So, I haven't started anything new yet, but I do want to start some more amigurumis to put in my shop to raise money to buy the aquarium tickets I was talking about the other day in whatever video that was. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. I gotta do some sewing. Some uh, hook cases will be going into the shop. Maybe tomorrow, but probably the third. Yeah, today's first. Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, the third, probably. Um, but I'll make a video about that whenever I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. I hope you all had a happy new year. I hope you tied up all your loose ends if you could. And if you make it any goals, make sure to make them attainable because if you make crazy goals, you might get disappointed, you know. I've done that before, and then you just kind of give up because you feel like you can't do it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for a national holiday video. And I might also insert some vloggy clips into this video because I did vlog a little bit for the last few days of vlog Vlogmas, but I just never got around to actually putting them up. <laughs> so there might be some random fa how, you know, clips. <laughs> just watch them if you want to. No, if you don't, it doesn't matter. Bye, guys. <laughs>